everyone and welcome to the Science Corner. I'm Ms. Bowman and today's topic is pumpkins. Let's get started. You're going to need your seesaw activity or you can print it out. I have mine printed out. You're going to need a pencil or you can use the seesaw tools and crayons or the seesaw tools. The last thing you're going to need is a pumpkin. Let's get started. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is write my name at the top. Now I need to mark the size of my pumpkin. Here's my pumpkin. It's not super small, but I've seen some bigger. So I'm going to write medium. I'm gonna circle the medium pumpkin. It is blank cubes tall. Now I need to measure it in cubes. If you don't have cubes to measure your pumpkin, you can just measure it in inches. Now let's measure our pumpkin and see how tall it is. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. My pumpkin is twelve cubes tall. Let's see how many inches it is. I have my ruler. My ruler shows inches and centimeters. I'm going to use the inches side, which is the side that has bigger numbers. Now I'm gonna hold it up to my pumpkin and see how tall it is. I can see my pumpkin is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight inches tall. My pumpkin is 12 cubes tall. It has blank lines. Now I need to count the lines on my pumpkin. I'm just going to put a mark where I start. That way I know where to stop. Here's line number one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. And I know I don't count this one because that's where I started. So I have 33 lines on my pumpkin. That's a lot. My pumpkin has 33 lines. Now I'm going to describe it. My pumpkin is round, orange, and smooth. It is not tall, yellow, or rough. Now I need to draw and color my pumpkin. It's pretty round. It has just a little bit of a stem but most of it's been broken off there's still a little bit there and then it has lots of lines coming out from it it is orange and the stem part is black with a little bit of green all right it will sink or float so now we're going to put our pumpkin in water to see if it will sink or float. Now that our sink is full of water, let's put our pumpkin in and see what happens. What do you think will happen? Let's find out. Can you see it floating? It floated. I will carve my pumpkin like this. Now I'm going to draw a picture on how I'm going to carve it. I'm going to draw triangle eyes and a triangle nose and a happy face with maybe two teeth. Now I need to color it in. We're all done with our investigation. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time when we blast off into science. Bye!